You're listening to the Angry Marks Podcast Network. There's a whole Be a Star campaign on Raw this week, and then they had oh, Santino shit. strip you know, the shirt down to show Justin Bieber. I'm not I, a Justin Bieber fan, but I'm not going to ridicule someone wearing Justin Bieber t-shirt. You know I what was, I mean? It's do what I, they do. The fact that they claim that they are in favor of anti-bullying, and all they do is bully and humiliate people on their show every week. It's just... It's flat out ridiculous for them to mock JR over and over and over again when he is one of the most respected and beloved commentators and industry veterans that there is. I uh, he's definitely like he is a Hall of Famer already in WWE Hall of Fame. And yeah. he's right up there with Gordon Soli as probably the best voice of wrestling ever. But I don't think Soli was ever ridiculed like this in his in his day. No, I don't think so. And uh, that whole show, that that insufferable three-hour show, was just denigrating, abusing, and humiliating people. I mean, we had to listen to Vince McMahon tell Daniel Bryan if he was bagging groceries at a grocery store, nobody would recognize him. What the fuck? <laughs> well, okay, Stevie, let's uh, let's get your prediction. No, 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 no don't, don't gloss over that one. Don't. <laughs> Don't get away from that subject. We need to talk about this more. If Killer Kev can have an epic rant about Sin Cara, I can have an epic rant about Vince McMahon denigrating and humiliating people on Raw because I'm fucking sick and tired of it. This is the kind of shit we always see when people are acting as his surrogates. When Michael Cole is out there doing what Vince McMahon tells him to do, we always know it's coming from him whenever Michael Cole humiliates somebody like Jim Ross or Daniel Bryan. And when we see it, in the plays of Alberto Del Rio when he comes out there acting all rich and self-important and making fun of all the other people that are beneath him and peasants and serfs, then we know that's what Vince McMahon really thinks of people. But now we had to actually watch it in person, in our own eyes, from the chairman himself, humiliating, mocking, making fun, and ridiculing the very people that are working for him making money. This is the most asinine, bass awkward shit of all time because there's a reason that WWE's interest is down 64% in the latest survey that just came out. It's because people don't take these guys as stars because the CEO of your own company is telling you they're not stars. They don't look like stars. He wouldn't know them as stars if he bumped into them in the street. He doesn't think anything of them. So why should the public think anything of them? If you're going to humiliate your own stars and point out they're worthless then that's what people are going to perceive him to be, you dumb motherfucker. Well, <laughs> how am I going to go after that? Um, case in point, William Regal on Raw this week. Yeah, okay. Well, you run with that train for a minute because I'm done. I got I to gotta take a breath here. Well, the thing is, like, they're talking about no one respects like, uh, an ass kisser, and then Regal just sits there, sorry, and Regal looks like, oh, it's okay, but... I don't know, like the whole Mickey James, William Regal, um, Jr. Jr. again, Jr. again. I mean, I think he's just his favorite target. But even the Garcia Garcia's getting it, but not from Vince McMahon. But she's getting ridiculed as well for her uh, re- re- uh, performance re- lately. All right, here's the one that I I just threw my hands up in the air. You've seen the clips on WWE TV and on YouTube and everywhere else of David Otunga going to these Be A Star bullies. You know the clips I'm talking about, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Where he goes to the rallies and explains why bullying is wrong and little kids ask him questions like, what should you do if somebody bullies you? And David Otunga's like, tell a parent, tell somebody in authority, tell somebody that you know that you trust, right? You know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, yeah. So... Here's Vince McMahon making fun of David Otunga and basically bullying him. Nobody likes a sycophant. Nobody likes a lawyer. Nobody likes an ass kisser. Excuse me. This is the man you're sending to be a star rallies and you're bullying him on television. What is fucking wrong with you? 